Hello, welcome to the Blessing Report. My name is Winston Mayo, the Average Christian Guy. And today we have a good topic for um, people young and old that I think will be a blessing to everyone. And that is, what is God's calling for my life? What is my purpose? What am I supposed to do? Now, this is only a hard question because um, so many people are in different stages in their lives, so there's a lot of answers. So I'm going to try my best to touch each one. Third group that um, you have, you have your calling, but you feel as if you're not progressing in that calling and you're not being elevated in um, what you're trying to do. There, there are a lot of reasons for this. Number one, um, you can have growing pains and you have to respect the process. God may not be elevating you to where you need to be or where you think you should be because you're not ready. Like literally, God knows that you're not prepared for this thing. You have to respect the process and um, you have to like be very critical of yourself. Am I a master of my craft? Am I an expert in my business and my finances? Because it is said that it takes 10,000 hours of deliberate practice to become an expert at it. And I know sometimes we get really tired um, and frustrated at like our 5,000 um, and we're just like, yo, God, man, I've been doing this for so long. You, you got, I, I think I'm ready, but like literally God knows you're not ready for this next stage. So that's why um, you may not be growing or being elevated by God. Right now. Next reason you might not be elevated by God is that there's some things he has to work out within you spiritually and has to get out of you before you can move further in your calling. There's something like holding you back spiritually and you actually have to, you have to respect that he has to fix this before you have a spotlight and that thing just comes to the forefront for the world to see. Maybe um, your prayer and Bible study is not consistent and God knows he can't count on you. Maybe you're not faithful in your tithes and offering. Maybe you're having um, sex outside of marriage. I don't know. I don't know what you're doing. You young people be wilding out nowadays. I don't even know. You old people be wilding out too. <laughs> like, I don't know. That's between you, God, the Holy Spirit, and Jesus. Like, and this is like what this channel is supposed to be about honesty. So be honest. What are you withholding? And this is um, the con a concept that I got from the Holy Spirit. God cannot trust you with more if you haven't been responsible with less. So, basically, if you think about it, it's not logical sense for God to progress you because you haven't showed yourself faithful or I'm um, ready for this thing. Like, why would God give you money if he knows you're not good with your money? keep asking for a million dollars but why would he want to give you a million dollars if you haven't been responsible with your hundred dollars that he's giving you and it shows this in the bible as well it says in second timothy um chapter 2 verse 15 study to show thyself approved unto god like prove yourself and a workman that needeth not to be ashamed rightly dividing the word of truth you have to have good spiritual ground internally like on the inside, you need to have solid foundation. You need to stop being so wavery and so shaky all the time. So, perfect example of this is this YouTube channel and my videos. God has been on oh, Jesus. Oh God, Jesus, same person. Know this. Um, God, Jesus, Holy Spirit, Son, three and one. God has been telling me to make these YouTube channel um, videos for two years. But I kept on making excuses out of my fear and doubt. And I would be like, nah, man, that's not the voice of God talking to me. That's my own voice. But I, I knew that wasn't true. But my fear and doubt like stopped me from the calling that God put on my life. So if I'm being rebellious um, in the past before, why would I think that God would think I'll be trustworthy enough and grant me like a higher status and more responsibility in the future. I wasn't faithful um, when I was broke and had free time. Like, why would I be faithful when I'm rich and overworked? You understand? So you have to respect the process, the growing process spiritually inside of you. And trust God with everything. Those areas that you're not letting God um, touch, 
that those are hindering you from your blessings. You're not going to elevate until them, them walls, they need to come on, crashing down. My father um, helped me figure out my purpose in life also. Because sometimes you're too close to your gift and you need someone from the outside to help point it out to you. My dad said to me, find something you love to do even if you never got paid. And then figure out a way to get paid to do it for the rest of your life. So, that is the end of my video, everyone. We made it. I hope it was a blessing to you. And if it was a blessing to you, please share. Like, you don't know who needs to hear this. And if you think someone needs to hear it, send it to them. That's the Holy Spirit probably telling them that. And also, consider this. This might be your witnessing. It might be your evangelism. It might be your ministry. But also, remember um, to sign in to your Gmail account and like me and subscribe um, to my channel because literally that's the only um, way I get credit if you actually like on YouTube. Even if you're watching this video on Facebook, go to YouTube for our young brother. Help him out. And um, subscribe so you don't miss any of the new topics. And just to get y'all ready for the new topics, I'm going to tell y'all a few. So this is what I have coming up next. It's not in this order, um, just so you know. Um, how to pray. Um, how do I hear God's voice? Why should I go to church? Discernment versus doubt. How do I read the Bible? Why am I not spiritually growing? The importance of testimony. And how do I follow Jesus and have fun? So... That's what you have in store to look forward from me. And um, check back um, in every Friday for a new video. Like us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and hit me up on Facebook as a friend. And I'll send you to the Spotify um, page for all the gospel and um, praise, worship music that you're looking for. And also, I forgot this in my introduction video. All artists who want to send me your music. I'm only um, accepting music on YouTube. That's the way I'm working. So a SoundCloud account in the email and iTunes, that's not going to work for me. So I need that. And also, artists, if you're submitting um, music to me, I need you to have um, kind of a full album that you can submit to me. Not in one video, like several videos. But um, I need enough music to play in my videos. My videos are very long. They're a sermon. That word is good. I tried my best, like literally I tried my best to like limit the amount of time I'm spending on these videos and they are long. But so artists, I need you to have a full album on YouTube, several videos. Hey yo, I'm forgetting something. Oh yeah. Don't be whack. I don't want your whack music on my page, boy. Thank you. So thanks for watching the Blessing Report. I'm Winston Mayo, the regular Christian guy. And remember, God blesses people by using people to bless people. So how have you been a blessing?